it starts by recognizing that the other side of whatever debate you're involved in, it might be guns right now, but tomorrow will be another issue, um, also have the well-being of the community in mind. You don't agree on how to get there, and that's why there's grounds for disagreement, but you do agree on the well-being of the community, and what's more, you're all invested in the community because you all live here, and you're not going anywhere. You know, at least most people aren't. Some people will leave, some people will come. That's part of a free country, but you know, there is long-term commitment to the community. And so if you work well with somebody today, you're gonna to work well with them tomorrow. And if you get into a brutal fight with them now, you're not gonna be able to compromise next time on some other issue. You know, it's a repeated process. You know, it's in, you know, politics, like life, are a repeat play game. You know, we go back and we do it again and again and again. And that gives us a real incentive to remember that we should develop close relationships with the people that we disagree with.